Well, baseboard's been around since the late 40s, early 50s. It really became the very popular way to heat a house in cold climates. Now, it's a perimeter style of heat. The baseboard mounts on the outside wall, and heated water goes right around, so it's very comfortable. Cool air in the room drops to the bottom of the floor, and it gets pulled up through a heating element, which sits right back here. Mm -hmm. At the top, there's a damper that you can open and close to affect how much heat comes out. Gotcha. Now, to heat the air, let me pull this cover. You can see boiler water is pumped through this copper pipe. You see these aluminum fins right here. The cool air is drawn up through those fans and the heated air comes out through the top. And that's where the damper comes into play. You shut it down to reduce the heat or open it wide open to warm up the room. That's right. But you also have to be sure to keep these fins clear. You want to make sure there's no pet hair that collects on the bottom of the top to impede airflow up gotcha. through. So you can pop the cover off and you can vacuum away all the uh, pet hair or dust bunnies. But what people are really writing us about are what do you do when the face of this gets dinged up? It gets hit by the vacuum cleaner or the kids. Maybe the top is pitted and a little bit rusty. I tell you, we've seen them so beaten up. You know, right. if, it's just, if it's just pit corrosion, you can try to paint it and try yeah. to bring it back. But oftentimes what we do is we replace the cover. Now, the element's going to stay right here, and they actually sell this. This is called a dummy, and it has no heating element inside of it. Okay. So now, if I was going to replace this piece, I'd have to get this back plate off of the wall. So it means removing all the screws. If there are nails, I may have to take a reciprocating saw and come in behind this back plate. I want to be careful not to scratch the wall. Right. Now, remember, this element is still connected. It's attached to the rest of the plumbing, That's so it's right. not really going anywhere. That's right. So then you have to figure out how to get this back plate out and also this carrier right here. You may have to wiggle this out here and then bring it out the side. And a few years ago, you did just that for a homeowner. You got it out, but it was a little fuss. Absolutely. Well, this is actually a new product that might make this project a lot easier. It's a piece of stamped metal. You can see the holes right here in the front, painted white. You can see the return bend right there. Mm -hmm. And that can clip right over the existing back plate. So you don't have to change it all out. Look at that. It covers it up nicely, a couple of end caps to dress it up, yep. and it's a modern look.